Hi everybody, I'm Tyler Walsh for TylerWalsh.tv. Uh, today I wanted to show you a uh, fancy little pocket camera called the Canon Vixia Mini X. Uh, Canon released this in January 2014. Um, it was really marketed towards video bloggers or bands um, looking for a solution for high quality video and high quality audio in a very compact um, little package. So the purpose of this video is to show you um, some of the capabilities that this camera has for journalists, for video journalists, for digital journalists, uh, because it is a really, really unique camera and it has a lot of applications uh, for people out in the field. Uh, but first, just let's start with a few of the specs of this camera. It's a mini camcorder capable of shooting 1920 by 1080 uh, AVC HD video and also um, shoots in smaller MP4 type files. It has something that Canon calls an ultra wide angle lens. It has a built in stereo professional microphone uh, for high quality linear PCM audio. Uh, it has an adjustable viewfinder. Uh, this is something that's super unique to this camera. If you, uh, if you look closely, uh, you can actually tilt it up and look at the image from different angles. But like I mentioned before, video bloggers might get a kick out of this camera because the viewfinder is actually adjustable so you can look at yourself when you're recording. So that's what I'm doing right here. Uh, you know, you could do a walk and talk video. It's got a lot of, lot of applications for that. Uh, you could turn it around and show your video producer who is uh, shooting the video right now. So it's actually kind of a, a unique uh, thing for uh, people that might want to do video blogs or something like that. But the real reason why I want to do this video was to show some of the real world applications for digital journalists. Uh, we were always told that the iPhone was kind of the solution, uh, the video solution for journalists out in the field, but the iPhone has always had one big drawback, audio. You are not missing that in this camera. This camera has really superior audio capabilities. So just running through some of the specs on this camera that a journalist might be very interested in, uh, it does have a headphone jack as well as a stereo mini mic input. So not only does it have uh, really high quality uh, audio input right here on the camera, but you could actually put in an external handheld microphone or wireless microphone. I've done both and it works fantastic. There is also a mic level uh, adjustment meter right on the side of the camera itself. As I mentioned before, the camera does have uh, an option for MP4 recording. Uh, MP4 files are obviously going to be smaller and you can have quicker turnaround with them. Uh, one of the fantastic features of this camera is it does have built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, so if you get the companion app for iOS, um, it's called the Movie Upload app that Canon puts out, uh, you can wirelessly transfer files. Uh, some of the smaller MP4 files actually transfer very quickly. You can bring them into your phone, put them into iMovie, uh, edit them and post them uh, straight from your phone. So fantastic application out in the field. Uh, it does have a uh, photo function. So uh, right on the main menu, you can uh, press the photo button and take uh, all the photos you want. So that also works. It does of course come with a tripod mount on the bottom and it has this great little stand uh, that you can put um, on a table or on a podium or something like that. So. It's a self-contained little unit. The camera itself does have a few drawbacks that I found uh, out in the field when uh, news gathering. Um, the ultra wide angle lens is almost too wide. Um, it has a very similar look to what a GoPro would give. Um, and you know, when you're holding it within a scrum, you, uh, you're not only gonna see the subject, but you're gonna see reporters uh, in the periphery uh, of that scrum, and they're gonna look a little bit stretched out with that fisheye look that you tend to get from uh, ultra wide angle lenses. Um, something else the camera doesn't have is a zoom. It doesn't have a traditional zoom functionality. What it does have is a one touch zoom. So that means it, uh, uh, you just press the button and it goes in closer. Uh, what I find is that um, uh, that one touch zoom is still not close enough that you'd be able to use this across the room if you were, uh, if you were on a media riser and you were trying to shoot a podium. Th that's not gonna work very well for you. So all in all, I mean, uh, I have just absolutely loved this little camera for using out in the field. Uh, I've used it to uh, shoot scrums, to shoot some press conferences. I've used it as a secondary camera, putting it on top of my professional camera, so you get that really wide angle look that a lot of people do with a GoPro. 
So any digital journalists out there looking for a fancy new toy to try, uh, definitely pick up the Canon uh, Vixia Mini X. You won't be disappointed. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to see more videos, uh, go to Facebook. Uh, dot com slash Tyler Walsh TV. Uh, check me out on TylerWalsh.tv, that's my YouTube channel, or uh, follow me on Twitter at WalshT. Thanks for watching, everybody.